What is going on my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time we ended our run at traffic. And today we get to learn about the fun worlds of homicide. Wait, that doesn't sound fun at all. But six months later. I mean that was a pretty crazy time. And I got a new thing for my mic. The red lipstick mana. Tell me a story, will you? All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Now... He said burglary. I'm taking a guess during the six months we went to burger we went to burglary for a little bit. But Rusty's gonna show us the way of being. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Awesome. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of her? Oh wait. You're behind the wheel. Oh come on now. I thought Rusty was a bigger guy than that. We've already met Rusty in the first case. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the deck. But where does that leave you, Galloway? It leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. Well, that's not nice. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one -off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Stereotyping much? I mean, granted, that was probably a high level of domestic issues back then, but... Ugh. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. I like Rusty a little bit. He's a little arrogant, but he means well. Oh well, yeah, trigger warning. I should have mentioned at the beginning. I hope you guys like nudity. I should. I, this is the same time I recorded this. I always I forgot about this. It's such a small little. Roman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but. 
Nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Morbs. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Makes sense to me. Ooh, footprints. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Pinker's the guy off of, uh... R&I? Alright, close Cause in. of death? It could be the head injuries. Hmm. Interesting. That's not very polite. I'm not sure what that is. That's obviously What polite. caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Did we talk about this? Guess not. I think there's nothing else on the body. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Hex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. That's more. Any important. idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. I'd appreciate that. Are you gonna do anything, Rusty? Ah, oh, puzzle time. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. I wanna play. So, you, you divide by sections. We're gonna go this way, because that's Indonesia. And it's actually a lighter. Who would have thought? The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Why not? I mean, it's a cool little lighter. Who wouldn't want that? I mean, that's my logic. victim's bag? And inside the bag we have one thing important, which of course is the lipstick for whatever reason. Probably it's the same brand shade. new. Can't be the one used on the body. Oh, it's not. Actually, I missed one now thinking about it. I think that's only five. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst. Another day, another dollar. I think it's this hand I'm missing. Yeah. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Alright. Now we should be officially good to go to the Bomba. Which Rusty apparently is already ready to go to. Aw, oh, I have to drive? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I'll sweat on. Fine. Where are we headed? Ba -la 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 -bum -ba. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hot shot. What's more likely? Whoa. The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in a corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder. It was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand. Stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. Would have found him. All right, that sounds hard enough. But I mean, I 
would say the case we just did was probably one of the biggest cases we've ever done. So... Is there any coombs? Oh gosh. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. Uh. A little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. You ought to meet Joe's buddy. Wow. How useful are these people? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. You going to Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. Was a lovely woman. Hmm. So you've seen the victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Go on. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. What? That's impressive. But why? Huh. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. I just had a really bad foot cramp, which sucks. Ooh, I get a treatment. Basically, get the right answer right on this question. It's not even a DLC quest. There is no homicide DLC quest. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring. On the large side, larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was uh, just before Jacob. All right. I'm doubting you because you were A looking away, and B, it was from you, wasn't it? I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. The old man never knew about it. I didn't actually know that. I just guess how this usually works. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. I'm, I mean, you look like you're telling the truth, but... So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. Ooh. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McCall. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Hmm. It's a little rough that, you know, I got a call back. the storm lover. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. Well, fine. Sit down for a little bit longer while I make some phone calls. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you in now. I don't know. 
Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. No. Thank you. That was a very depressing way to say please. Oh, come on. Wait. He's already in the car? Can you drive to this one? What? Where exactly are we going? Do we want him driving his drink, been drinking? Is it Do you find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. <laughs> Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Ooh. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Well, I think their relationship is going to be a great time for the next couple cases here at Homicide. Alright, welcome to the Henry residence. 10 a.m. I don't remember what time we started this. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Watch the door just be unlocked. the thing Colt uh sheriff I think it's called police edition police edition. side window's been jimmied looks like somebody's creeped the joint great by the way story time we'll see what happens here you said I had to go back doctor Fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Man, he is such a scumbag. I wonder who he ended up killing. Husband, wife, two young children killed. Ugh. That's our fifth newspaper, so... Where do we even begin here? Oh, well, Galloway's already doing nothing. Probably nothing. Oh, we probably come at this. Yeah. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. He's got a point. I wouldn't do that. 
So Lena and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being a husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my asses drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. He says not. Don't take all day about himself. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. All right. I think we have one more clue in this area before we... Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. No good to me. I mean, if she was a, a uh, pilot at one time. Oh, freak. What's going on here? Ring box? Tiffany. Tiffany. The rest of the stuff is junk. It might explain the missing ring. Hmm. But well, assume they have the wrong ring then. All right, let's check out the backyard real quick. Anything important here? That door is very blue. Oh, freak, what the? Where did that car come from? around here. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Hmm. Everything's leading to Jacob, but it doesn't make sense with, for her to leave with somebody else. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. I mean, I agree. I don't think Jacob's it, but Jacob may not. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Yeah, uh, for my money. If the broad keep the house looking like that, she's probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in and keep the hacks off her backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. I mean...